So what's going to be the best Sony camera for you in 2023? In this video, I'm breaking down the top five best Sony cameras so you'll never have to suffer through bad photos or videos again. The only issue is that a camera might work great for a friend, but might not be the best for you because some cameras are specifically designed to work better for different situations, which is why I made sure to include options for all types of situations. So regardless of how you intend on using it, I'll have the perfect camera for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss anything. First on my list is the Sony A7 Mark IV, my choice for the best hybrid Sony camera. The Sony A7 Mark IV has a 33 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor which delivers stunning image quality. Its ISO range of 100 to 51200 is expandable up to 204,800 making it perfect for low light photography. Now what really sets this hybrid camera apart is its strong capabilities to shoot both superior images and videos. The fast hybrid autofocus system is first class, covering roughly 94% of image area for both stills and videos to achieve greater speed, accuracy, and tracking performance. With 759 face detection points, the A7 Mark IV ensures that your images are always in focus. It can shoot 4K video at up to 6 frames per second, which is perfect for high quality footage and it has a 10 bit 422 recording capability making it capable of recording almost 17 million different colors. The camera also has built in 5 axis optical image stabilization which makes shooting smooth and stable footage a breeze. Both the mechanical and electronic shutters allow you to shoot more than 800 frames at up to 10 frames per second by the A7 Mark IV's high capacity buffer memory, Speedy Bion's XR processor, and its memory card writing speed. The A7 Mark IV is very comfortable to hold, the buttons and dials are all well placed, and the touchscreen is very responsive. You can shoot up to 440 shots on a single battery charge, which is great for long shoots. And if you do need to charge the camera, it supports USB charging, so you can easily charge it on the go. Now additionally, it has support for S sign tone, creative look, and S log 3, giving you more control over the colors and contrast of your footage, and overall, the Sony A7 Mark IV is an excellent camera for both photographers and videographers, it delivers stunning image quality that has a top-notch autofocus system and can shoot high-quality video. The hybrid ability of the camera is really what sets it apart from other cameras on the market. If you're in the market for a new camera that can do it all, the Sony A7 Mark IV is definitely worth considering. Next on my list is the Sony ZV-E10, my choice for the best entry-level Sony camera. Now first off, the Sony ZV-E10 has ASPC sensor that produces stunning image quality with 24.2 megapixels and ISO range of 100 to 32,000. This camera is perfect for anyone looking to upgrade from a smartphone or a point and shoot camera. The ZV-E10 also gives you the option to shoot 4K high dynamic range video. Whether stills or video, it captures truly beautiful colors in detail. One of the standout features of the ZV-E10 is the fast Sony hybrid autofocus system, making it really easy for you to capture those perfect moments. It also has a background defocus button which instantly toggles between defocus effects being on and off allowing you ultimate flexibility. The camera has a user-friendly interface and a flip-out variable angle touchscreen that allows you to easily frame your shots. Its built-in directional microphone is a game-changer for vloggers or anyone looking to capture great audio. The Sony ZV-E10 weighs just about 12.8 ounces, so you can easily hit the road with it. It has a very handy dedicated button for switching to video mode. Its interchangeable lens system offers a wide selection to suit any creative style. It also has a built-in directional microphone that's perfect for capturing clear audio and there's even a noise reduction feature that helps ensure your audio is always crisp and clear. The ZV-E10 is also incredibly versatile. It has a variety of shooting modes, which means that you can take full control of your images and get the exact shot you want. It provides S-Log 325 support for creative looking color tones so you can experiment and get really creative with your photos and videos. So overall, the Sony Sony ZV-E10 is the best entry-level Sony camera, in my opinion. Perfect for anyone looking to upgrade from a smartphone or a point-and-shoot camera, and it's easy to use, has incredible image quality, and is versatile in both video and image modes. So if you're in the market for a new camera, the Sony ZV-E10 is definitely worth checking out. Next on the list is the Sony A7R Mark V, my choice for the best Sony camera for photography. The A7R Mark V is an absolute powerhouse of a camera. It features 
features Sony's new dedicated AI processing unit and its massive 61 megapixel sensor, this camera is designed to deliver incredibly detailed and sharp images. The new AI unit uses detailed information about human forms and other new subject types like vehicles with a view to improving the camera's subject recognition accuracy and making full use of its potential resolution. Also, its next generation Bion's XR processor delivers impressive shooting speeds of up to 10 frames per second with continuous autofocus and auto exposure. This makes it an ideal camera for capturing action shots and fast moving subjects or even sports. It can shoot movies in 8K at 24 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. Another great feature of this camera is the low light performance. With an ISO of up to 102,400, you can shoot in almost any lighting condition and still get stunning results. And thanks to the 5-axis in-body image stabilization system, you can shoot handheld and still get sharp images without the need for a tripod. A 9.44 million dot OLED electronic viewfinder is first class and makes it easy to compose your shots. The autofocus system on this camera is lightning fast with 693 phase detection autofocus points. This means you can capture your subject with incredible precision, whether you're shooting portraits, landscapes, or anything in between. Now on top of all of those performance features, the AR7 Mark V feels incredibly comfortable in the hand with a well-designed grip and intuitive controls that make it easy to adjust settings on the fly. Overall, the Sony A7R Mark V is truly impressive and it's the best Sony camera for photography in my opinion. So if you're a photographer who wants to take your skills to the next level and you're in the market for a high-end mirrorless camera, be sure to check out the Sony A7R Mark V. And if you're interested in updating pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops. So if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and subscribing. Next on my list is the Sony FX3, my choice for the best Sony camera for video. The Sony FX3 is a beast of a camera when it comes to shooting high quality video. It boasts a 4K full frame sensor with 15 plus stop dynamic range allowing for stunning detailed footage. Now what sets the Sony FX3 apart from Sony's other high-end cinema line cameras is its form factor. It's a compact, cage-free design and very light, weighing only 2 pounds and 3.8 ounces including handle and battery pack. It has a 4th inch 20 mounting points and an XLR TRS top handle. So in addition to all its first class performance features, the FX3 is really mobile and suitable for solo shooters. The Sony FX3 shoots up to 120 frames per second in full HD resolution and ideal for slow motion shots. With an ISO of up to 409,600, you can capture stunning slow motion footage even in low light conditions. Not to mention the 10-bit 422 color depth is perfect for color grading and post-production. And the FX3 includes Sony Bion's XR image processing engine known for its real-time processing capabilities. Another standout feature of the Sony FX3 is its autofocus system. It's fast, accurate, and incredibly reliable, making it easy to keep your subjects in focus even in fast-paced, unpredictable shooting scenarios. And with the included s Cintone color profile, you can achieve cinematic looks straight out of the camera. As well, three modes are provided for recording with S-Log 3 so you can get truly optimized image quality. Overall, the Sony FX3 is the best Sony camera for video, in my opinion. Whether you're a professional content creator or avid videographer looking to up your game, it's packed with features that make it a joy to use, and its compact form factor makes it incredibly versatile. So if you're in the market for a new camera, I highly recommend checking out the Sony FX3. And the last camera on my list is the Sony a7C, my choice for the best Sony camera for most people. The Sony a7C is one of the smallest and lightest full-frame cameras on the market, so it's incredibly portable and easy to use for long periods of time. Its compact size combined with its first-class performance features makes it a great camera for photographers on the move, vloggers, and content creators alike. The a7C has a 24.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, and it's powered by Bion's X-Image processor. The autofocus system is top-notch, and it's incredibly fast and accurate. It has 693 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection points with a 35 millimeter lens, which means you can take sharp and clear photos 
every time. The camera also has 5-axis in-body image stabilization. So with the A7C, you can shoot handheld and still get incredibly stable shots, making it perfect for using on the go. The A7C can shoot 4K video at up to 30 frames per second and full HD at 120 frames per second. The quality of the video is incredible. And with ISO of up to 102,400 for videos or 204,800 for stills, it performs really well in low light. The camera also has S-Log3 and S-Log2 gamma profiles, which is great for color grading and post-production. The camera's 3-inch flip-out LCD screen is also a great feature, making it easy to frame your shots when you're filming yourself. Now, the A7C also comes with a built-in electronic viewfinder that's incredibly clear and easy to use, and battery capacity is healthy at up to 680 shots per session. Overall, the A7C is the best Sony camera for most people, in my opinion. It's compact and light weight design make it really portable and easy to use. Combine that with its image quality, video capabilities, autofocus system, and more, and the A7C makes it a great choice. So, if you're looking to upgrade your camera game, the Sony A7C is definitely worth considering. If you guys like this video or learned something, please give it a like, and be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all products mentioned in this video. That's all. Till next time.